Hello everyone, it's Jen from Creative Housewives and I am excited to teach you today about working with script fonts in Design Space. Probably the number one question that we see being asked all the time is how to make their script fonts work in Design Space. So I'm going to just walk you through a few tips for how to get the best results and it'll be super easy. By the time we're done with this, you will be able to do this exact same thing on your own. I'm gonna come over here to the left side toolbar I'm just here on my canvas in design space. I'm using just a, a laptop computer. Here on the left side, you'll see that there's the T for text. I'm going to select that. And then up here where it says font, right now it's on a just a normal like block font. So I'm going to select and just come through here. You can see that there are different options though. Anything with a green A next to it will be included in your Cricut Access subscription. If you come up here and select system, anything in this is a font that you have downloaded to your computer. So if you have you know, a font that you want to use that you downloaded, this would be where you would come to look for that. If you wanna make sure you're just looking at Cricut fonts, you can select that here. Um, just select Cricut and that's only going to show you Cricut ones, but it's going to show you all of the Cricut ones. If you come over here to filter, you can also select my fonts. That's going to cut out any fonts that you don't own in Design Space. So because I have a Cricut Access subscription, it's going to show me all of those. So I can just scroll through here. We can just pick any font. I want to pick a font that's also able to be cut. So you can see the Babette is a single layer cutting and also a writing font. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And I'm just gonna come down here and I'm going to type Merry Christmas. That'll give us a good just like collection of letters to be able to look at. So as you can see, every letter is individual here. It's up over here on our layers panel. You can see it says text Babette. This is one word or font box but it each of the letters are individual. They're not touching. So when it cuts out, it's going to cut these out each individually. Here's how we get away from that and make it look more like a true script font. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna select my layer, and then I'm gonna come up here, and you can see up in our top toolbar, we have font, we have style, we have size, then we have letter space. Right now the letter space, and I believe this is the default, is 1.2. You can use these arrows here to make them further apart by selecting the up arrow. So you can see that they're moving further apart or you can select the down arrow and this will just scooch them together. So you can just keep selecting that. If you know a good jumping off place, you can also just type in, like I could say negative 0.4. And then that's gonna pull them that close together. So there's a few different ways that you can do that. And so you can just bump them up or bump them down whichever way you want to do that or type that in. So you can see here, things are getting really close. Like my H I feel like is uncomfortably close to my C here. My E is getting very close to my M, yet this part of the E is not touching my R. This R is not bumping into the other R, still not connected to the Y. The T is almost connected here to the M, but not quite. So when I, for this next step, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit farther to make it easier for you to be able to see. So we're going to zoom in at 150 so you can see even clearer how like close but not quite these letters are. So now I'm going to come up here in the top toolbar where it says advanced. If I select advanced, I can select ungroup to letters. Now I want you to watch this layers panel over here when I do this. So right now, this is all one grouped just text box. When I select ungroup to letters, watch what happens. So now you can see I have a different text box for each letter. So if I select this H, you can see that it's highlighting just that H, which means I can move this H wherever I want. It also means that this is no longer a um, like a single word. So as you're adjusting sizes and things like that, you need to be aware that it's going to adjust for just that single um, letter, not for the entire thing. So what I do from here is I like to start at the beginning and I'm just like, I want my M a little bit farther away from my E, but then I want this R, I want it to look like these, you know, like that this E just jumps right into that R, like it would be natural. 
So I'm going to bump that down a little bit farther, but then you can see that. So now I have my E and it's coming up into this R. They are still, if we come over here on the toolbar and show you, if I select this R, you can see it's still individual. They are not, just because they're touching does not mean they're connected. They are just touching at this point. So now I'm going to take this R and I'm going to bump it over. So again, so now we have our E and if we follow that natural script, you know, we're running right into the font or right into the letters the way that you would if you were just writing them yourself. So now I'm going to drop this Y down a little bit. And you can come in and do things like I can select just these two. Actually, I grabbed the E too. If I just like go from here. Nope. I was trying to show you how I, you can select. So let's go over here to the layer. If I select this R and then select this R, you can come up here to align and align them at the top so that those are now at the same level there. Um, for letters, when you have them right next to each other, you would want to do that so that they sit nicely, you know, so it looks nice and right. So with this Y, now I also want to just, because my natural handwriting would, I'm going to tip it just a little bit and bring it over. So now you can see we have our Mary. There is no easy, because of the font it is, there's no easy way to make that M really touch. So that's always going to hang out there on its own a little bit. But you can see that now this looks like an actual like cursive written word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just to show you the difference here. I'm going to select this whole word. So I've got, you can see in the toolbar, I've got the M-E-R-R-Y all selected. I'm going to select all of those. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom of my toolbar and I am going to select weld. Now here is something you need to be aware of when welding is right now, because I'm in here, so you can see up here at the top on our toolbar, it says weld result, and you can see that Mary is all one word. Because I am still in this project, I have the ability to come in and select undo, which will kick those all back to being their own individual letters. See, they're back here again, M-E-R-R-Y, or all individual. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld those, and I want you to see that selecting this now there is no option, like unweld is not an option when using design space. That is just, so, so you can undo while you are actively in that project, but once you are out of the project or you have saved it, then you will need to, um, you will not have the ability to be able to change that welding. That is now its own image. It's no longer a font it has become an image that will be cut out. So that's just an important thing to remember. And a way to get around that, if you think that maybe you might want to someday change it, you know, if you're not 100% sure on the setting, this is what I always do. So we'll come back up here, we'll undo again and make them all their individual letters. So now what I can do is I can select all of those and then I can right click and duplicate. So now I have this whole thing. It is, it's, they're all their own letters. You can see I have them selected. It's M-E-R-R-Y again. And now I can hide each one of those. That keeps them here on my canvas or in my layers panel, but it takes them away from my canvas. So now I can select this section. I can come down here to weld and I safely have my welded image so if you look over here on our weld result, you'll see that we have the single image here that says Mary. But if I ever wanted to come back in and mess around with things, I can unhide these layers and I can still move them around. I can take my Y and I can, you know, tip it further. I could make it like I could distort it a little bit and make it a little bit longer. I could take my R's, make them a little bit skinnier if I wanted to. So there are things that you can do by having that layer duplicated. I'm gonna go ahead and hide those so that that doesn't get confusing. But anytime I'm welding and it's a project that I think I might want to you know, play with more later, I try really hard to remember to duplicate before I weld and then just hide that layer. So now we'll just move over here into Christmas and I'll just play with these really quick and we'll get them lined up. And this is all a personal preference. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and cannot do. 
There are plenty of people out there who like the look of a, a scripted font without having it touching. And that's your choice. A lot of people like to say that, you know, it's not your choice. It's the designer who created the font's choice. Whatever. However you want to do it. I am not one to judge. It's your project. Make it look the way that you want. But I'm just going to go ahead and just keep moving these around. Like, my personal opinion is that this A is ridiculously large. Like, look at it compared to the M and the S. I feel like it is so big. So if I set it there, it just feels large. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller so it feels like it fits better with the word itself and then I may tilt it a little bit and see if I can get it to connect to this S in a way that looks I need to tilt it a little bit more but a way that looks like it might actually um, you know like naturally if I'm following my A here and coming up you know, like a way that it might work. So, so if I do that now, if I take this S and this, Oh, nope. It's going to try to pick the whole thing. Okay. Let me grab this S and then come over here into my sidebar and select this other S. So now you can see, so those, those are gray. They're the only ones that are selected. I can come up here to align and I can align to the bottom so that, that way they're dropping at the same point. And you could do that with any of the other letters that you wanted to as well. I kind of want to make my C stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to kick that a little bit bigger. But again, there's no real natural way because it doesn't have much of a tail here to bring it up to that H and have it come through. But for the rest of the word, I feel like, you know, like that that is a natural just, you know, how one might write. At least this is how I write. I am definitely a person that combines like print and cursive. And so um, this, I think, works really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this like we did before. I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to move that down. And I'm going to hide each of those letters. So this way I can weld my other Christmas. So now I can take all of this and I can weld. And now you can see I have Christmas up here. And then if we come all the way down here. So the other thing that you should know, you can see Mary down here, but the other thing that you should know, so on our sidebar here in our layers panel, anything new you do is going to kick up to the top. So that's why, because I duplicated Christmas, that's why that's above the Mary right now. I can select this and then I can say send to front. And now I've got my Mary and my Christmas all the way here up at the top. So now I can take my Mary. I can set it up here above Christmas. I can move those however I want to. So the reason that we weld when using script font is because if I, let me, actually let me unhide. I'm just going to unhide two of these letters here. And I'm going to make them really big to be able to show you this. So right now, they're individual letters, but they're the same color. So let me change the color of the S because I think this will show better for you. So what happens when, let's move that to the front. So do you see what's happening here? Because these aren't welded, even if they are the same color, if they're not welded, this A is its own image and this S is its own image. So what will happen is even though they're touching and even though they're the same color, what's going to happen is my A is going to cut out, which means when it gets to this tail part, it's going to cut into the S. And then when it cuts out my S, it's going to come along here. And when it comes along here, it's going to chop off that piece of the A. So I'm going to have this random little section here that's cut off of my A and cut out of the S. So when I select these, and I weld them, it's going to make them the same color, so just be prepared for that. But it also, see, it has made it one continuous cut line. So now I have these in here, and it's just one. There is no weird tail sticking out, making things, you know, where it's going to cut strange. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, because as you'll remember, these are my... A and my S for my word here that I want to keep. So when I need to make changes later, I have them. 
But there you go. So now when I cut out Merry Christmas, it's going to cut these out as one image. So when I'm using, if I'm using cardstock or I'm using iron-on, it's going to cut this all, or vinyl, any of those, it's going to cut it all out. And then other than my C and my M, which just don't, there are other fonts where they would work better to attach them. But so now I'm going to have my M and then this will just be one image here. This E through R will be one easy thing to peel up and to attach back down. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.